1984, I was part of a team and uh, we were beaten and the opposition stood on the table and sang <laughs> how good they were. And I remember sitting there with a friend of mine and we said, as long as we were as associated with it, we'd never let that happen again. So not only were we smart enough to know that we were always improving and willing to look for a better way, but we then met some other people that were exactly like that. Some people, a coach who was so driven to understand all about statistics and um, finding the best new tactics, etc. And then um, I as a captain or co-captain with others, uh, a reason to find other people who wanted to be great. And so it started that instead of just being a one-off win, we then won the second time and then the third time. And then we would travel to America and beat all the American colleges. And then we would actually um, change the way the game was played. We would change the rules. We would change how hands were played, two hands. We would change the sticks. Um, so that as a part of a South Australian team, we were not only people who won in our own realm, but we were people who influenced the game worldwide. And to this day, uh, people get scholarships and everything because of that travel. Um, I was inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame in 2013, which was fantastic and unbelievable for my differences in playing soccer and all the other sports, but lacrosse in particular as a coach and as a player. Then. I started to think about, like anything else in a team sport, really it didn't matter unless you actually took the people who were there with you, so I sat down and wrote applications about the differences our group made. This year our team was actually voted to be inducted and how good is it the South Australian um, Hall of Fame by the way has teams. Some people think it shouldn't be in there because teams don't deserve it. I say the opposite. In fact if we put emphasis on teams being in places we would have a lot more happy well well-rounded um, people because it is a team effort and it is great leadership that helps get there but it's all the people that go along with it. So I thought I'd just show you number one if you can just have a look at my walls up there you can actually start to see all the different teams that we're involved in on the time, both club, state and Australian. And they're all pretty special and um, you know, you can see it in different sports. But I just thought I'd show you the booklet that I've made on lacrosse in particular. This is the lacrosse when we were inducted into the Hall of Fame. And as you can see, these are all the people. And if you look like we're having fun, I'm going to tell you the whole process of the 11, 12, 13 years. Uh, I have to thank Sassy, Sassy Sports Institute. We had um, testing. We had to do shuttles and hills and all of those things. And we were um, wired up all the time. We had to do 20 meter sprints. And I see people doing it now and they all go, oh, it's something new. Um, we weren't paid. Not one person here received any money. Some of us were lucky enough. Oh, plastic sticks were coming in for women. And because I used one, I actually got a free stick and some gloves at some stage. Um, but the, probably the best thing about Sassy is we actually got um, money to travel. So we didn't actually have to pay for ourselves to travel. And so instead of costing us a lot of money, at least we could go along never being paid, but actually feeling like we were athletes that really deserved to have some attention. And in return, we gave it everything that we had. It became a group that you absolutely loved everyone and as you can see here's the whole group there were 60 people involved in that including wonderful coaches some managers and we've actually lost a couple on the way um, so that was significant and it was really good and as you can see I've put together a book like this with some of the fun times we had some of the teams uh, we actually went to um, the Smithsonian um, Museum all together. Imagine going to the Star Trek exhibition and having fun and talking about being on the bridge as the captain. On the night we all did, had, we just had so much fun being um, inducted into things and I was lucky also to get the Marg Ralston uh, Golden Door Award. Um, my husband and my daughter also came, got a great trophy. Um, and again, it was just team after team after team of excellence. And if we look like we're having fun and being silly here, yeah, we would do pyramids, we would do all of that, but we worked really hard. And as you can see, sometimes our uniforms were a bit challenged. That was usually my fault because I love bright colors and we would always wear different fluoro things. Um, but as you can see, it was, a, it was just joyous. And uh, the things that we did together, uh, things that make you feel great when you get old, when you reminisce about it. And it doesn't matter how many trophies you get. It's the fact that you can all get together and recognize each other. And for each person, I actually made them a little fluoro glass and then it had their initials and it had the number that they were involved in. And it didn't matter in, you know, whether it was one or 11, every person that came along felt like they were valued, felt like the team sport. And as a woman, as you get older, 
it's not it's no different to blokes they they need the same thing having some recognition and people understanding when they talk about women's sport now there were those of us 30 years ago that were doing the hard work that were teaching and trying to coach the next level as well as ourselves sometimes so this is an achievement this is also what i ask you to do if you are a part of a great team spend time making a video highlight which i've done and you can see how we used to play on youtube but everyone that came along that night all these people because they've added to my life and as i said if you want to be great it doesn't matter it transfers to what you do when you're old and uh, it keeps you going and it keeps you finding a purpose in life so um, as part of think prepare play like a champion this is one of the things I, I would expect you to do